What's up guys, so I'm Ninja Wing Aviators and a Superman hat bringing you another video of the Fight Like a Superhero web series here on the Modern Ninja channel. Now, this time we are going over the one, the only, Blade the Vampire Slayer. So, sit back, relax, and let's get into learning how to kill some vampires. I'm a daywalker. Which means I can tolerate the sunlight. I'm on a mission. To hunt down and kill those monsters that have plagued humankind for so long. The vampires have their own name for me. They call me Blade. Alright, so I did a couple videos a while back on Blade fighting styles and, um... A blade fight scene but this video is gonna be the new and improved version part of the fight like a superhero series here on YouTube and so uh, with that said if you want to see the fight scenes I did before with the blade fight scene and the blade versus Punisher fight scene definitely go back in my channel or I'll leave a link at the end of the video for you guys so you can check out those fights now with that said we're gonna get into a um, a little rundown of how blade fights now one thing to, you need to note is that blade is enhanced in basically all the normal ways so you got this enhanced speed reflexes uh endurance you got your enhanced strength you got your enhanced basically everything your your senses all of it and so keep that in mind that that fa factors into how blade can move so quickly and be so effective but blade is actually one of the uh one of the few enhanced superheroes whose fighting style actually does stack up in real life for the most part obviously also one of the things to take note of is that blade is you know has longevity so what that means is he's way older than he looks i believe it was 90 years old i have to double check but he is incredibly incredibly uh young and spry for his age and so with that said he has had a lot of time to get a lot of experience similar to how wolverine has had years and years and years of military experience way above what he should be able to accumulate so because of that blade has learned thousands of fighting styles tons of fighting styles uh, and so we're obviously not gonna go into each one but we're gonna cover basically how he makes those fighting styles work for him so blade takes on vampires and he hunts vampires that's you know we all know this but the, uh, a reason that that's important to note is because he fights quickly and he fights a lot of people at once and so in order to get through you know hordes of vampires all at once he has to take them down quickly or knock them away so he can take them you know in a different way he can get them still one at a time as opposed to getting ganged up on so one of the ways he does this is either uh i guess some of the uh, two of the ways he does this is either um kill shot instantly so either whether it's you know backing him up to the wall and stabbing them with his um silver dagger or silver spike i guess or um, just straight up using his silver chain whip, I guess it's called, and just phew, taking off their heads. So he either takes them out quickly or pushes them away so he has to deal with them later, like um, kicking them off a ledge so that he can, you know, get some space between him and the other uh, vampires. Either one of those works, and Blade does do a combination of those, like kicking one away, then following through as uh, the fight progresses in a certain direction. So Blade is going to do a lot of uh, hand and, um, and kick combinations where you lead off with your hands and finish with a powerful kick to either drop them to the ground or push them away. Or he's going to do a lot of hand combinations leading up to a stab with that spike or something like that. So when you're doing his open hand fighting style, when you're practicing like his open hand fighting style, the biggest thing you're going to want to look for is finishing off your enemies quickly and effectively so you can go against multiple enemies you know and not die blade also has a sword that he uses and it is an amazing sword it has a bunch of features but we're not going to go into that right now if you want to see me do a video of that uh let me know down in the comments i guess but um some of blade's best <laughs> fight scenes have his sword in them especially in the movies uh his best fight scenes in my opinion have that sword and so you can't learn how to fight like blade without his sword now blade has a special sword his sword is a straight sword 
with a silver blade so that it does the biggest effect on vampires as possible. Now, with that said, he, when he has his sword, he doesn't just use his sword, even though he very well could. Uh, his, with his speed and strength, his strikes are devastating and quick. So you could definitely, he could definitely get away with just using his sword, but he doesn't stop there. He goes a step farther and adds in kicks and acrobatics with the sword in his hand so that not only do you have to worry about the sword, but you also have to worry about his quick kicks, his powerful uh, kicks and his acrobatic nature that allows him to jump over swords, do flips and other acrobatic you know activities to give him a better advantage so keep that in mind when trying to learn how to fight like blade is that you don't only have to know exactly how to use your sword well but you have to use it well in conjunction with your other you know extremities your other hands your other feet that you can kick with so keep that in mind but without further ado we are going to jump outside and go over some combinations you can learn in your backyard so I'm actually going to be using this blade sword prop repli replica just to stay that much more accurate to uh, the movie and to Blade as a character. And just notice that it is a straight sword just like I was talking before. It's obviously not silver because that would be super expensive, but it is a straight sword just like in the movie Blade uses. So I can feel the rain coming, so I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible. I'm sorry if it's hard to keep up, but that's what the rewind button's for. So the first one we're going to do is a little combo with our sword that allows us to use our feet at the same time so we're going to work on a strike combination it's going to be one two three four so again one two three four you're going to come around with your kick knock them to the ground with that big inside outside kick and then stab to finish because again blade kills his enemies they're vampires so it's gonna go one, two, three, four, come around, stab. Just like that one more time. One, two, three, four, around, stab. So our next time is gonna be with only hands, using just hands and the imaginary dagger. I don't have one right now, but imagine that um, silver dagger Heat Blade has in the movies. So we're gonna come up with one, two, two punches, bop, bop. Then our right hand is gonna go around the neck and hold in the neck choke just like that so one two around the neck look as i move forward to grab that neck bop, pop. move forward wrap the neck and then our left hand's going to stab stab into the side of the body with that silver blade to put down our vampire one more time one two uh, bang, bang. now the last one is going to be a kick combination because Wesley Snipes loves to play around with his kicks and show off his kicks. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to do a three kick combination that will put your opponent on the ground. Watch very closely. It's going to be a front kick. Bang! Just stop them from rushing in on you. Now, once you get that front kick, you're going to hook kick. Bang! To knock them to the ground. It's just across the face just like that. So it's going to be stop and front kick. Hook kick. Spin it around crushing your head just like that because you have you know enhanced strength as a blade so one more time front kick hook kick crushing kick just like that i hope you guys enjoyed this video just like i enjoyed um making it i love blade he's one of my favorite characters i love the wesley snipes movies and i think they're coming out with another one coming out soon either a movie or a netflix series so definitely look out for that until next time guys don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. My name is DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out.